video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today. Hi, I'm Eric Lenask here at IT Expo. On with uh, me on today's program is Chris Hasenauer from AllWorks, a uh, windstream company, of course. Chris, uh, great to see you again. Good to see you again, Eric. Um, so, you, you know, I mentioned at the outset AllWorks being part of uh, Windstream, we'll, we'll touch on both. Yeah. Um, tell me, how's, how's AllWorks uh, been operating? How are things going, uh, obviously, since, since going the really uh, acquisition? Well. Yeah, we've actually done really well since the acquisition. Uh -huh. Growth coming from two uh, channels, really. We've got the external channel, it's about 900 authorized dealers sell our AllWorks product in a variety of situations, and then we've got the internal channel that sells through Windstream, really a bundled product set called IP Simple, and that's been growing exponentially. So we were up about 25% last year. Since the economic downturn, our revenues uh, multiplied three and a half times, so all in all, just a great period for us. Externally, through the external channel, what's driving that growth? I think the thing that really drives it is uh, the new products we came out with last year. We have a mobile, a virtualized handset that I think changes the way people look at our system as a whole. It integrates your mobile phone with everything you can do on our server. So it makes a, your mobile phone like another handset on your device. You as the employer get to own the phone number then, and then so if a sales guy leaves and goes somewhere else, you can point that phone number to somebody else's mobile phone. It's a really unique uh, interaction between server and mobile phone that allows you to feel like just another handset on the on the server. Now is that not you know not to get too too much into uh, that particular product but uh, is that is that a mobile device or mobile manufacturer agnostic? Yeah, iOS or Android. Okay. And so, you know, that's the vast majority of the marketplace right now, so <laughs> pretty much anybody. Android's more difficult because there are so many devices in that area, mm -hmm. so we've had to do a lot of work on that end, but uh, we're, we're there now. And that, that integrates uh, with, with your uh, on-premises solution? Yeah, so because we develop everything ourselves, yep. and it's all, both the hardware, software, the applications that run over the top of it, it's all developed by AllWorks, it feels like one environment throughout. So when you're on our handset, it works a lot like the desktop handset. We've got a new product called Interact, which is on the PC. Again, the same environment feels a lot like the mobile application. Throughout, it all kind of makes sense because it's it's the same developers. How has how has the uh, transition to being part of a larger organization in Windstream? Uh, how has that process helped Windstream and and, and uh, the internal channel? The big thing it's helped is uh, I think on both sides having a small smaller innovative uh, startup essentially is what we like to think of ourselves at AllWorks as brings in that that different uh, thought process we want to grow really fast and sometimes when you're at a carrier you're kind of used to one percent growth if you're lucky so you bring in a company that's growing fast that still is very hungry uh, still chewing up a lot of uh, market share that's that kind of changes the the thought process for an innovative company like us uh, we tend to think two three years out and being part of a larger company instills the discipline of hitting this quarter's numbers every quarter, all the time, predictability. And I think that really gets you focused on your customers today. Instead of focusing on what you think your customers are going to need in several years, you also have to think about what do guys need right now? And I think that's made us a better company. Do you think that uh, it, there's going to be a continued or a growing trend in, uh, in the communication space? Where, where we see what, uh, you know, what was essentially a hardware company uh, become part of a larger uh, services organization and then obviously then benefiting both sets of customers? I don't know if we'll see as much of that. I think it's a great idea. I, I think you will see more applications companies coming in mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be important for carriers to stack revenue channels and you've got the, the kind of uh, transport revenue that they're used to, but you're going to have to add other value-added products. You're going to have to offer a lot more to your customers than you did in the future. And I think owning that, that technology is going to be important because if you're always a consumer of technology, your margins are just not going to be where you want them to be. I think that's the big change over the last uh, 20 years. Carriers went from being innovators to consumers of innovation, and I think you might see a shift in the future where you see carriers again being sources of innovation as well as consumers. What percentage, how much of your sales currently are, are uh, cloud related as opposed to not? 
I would say it's a pretty low number right now, cloud related, maybe five to 10%. And it's usually customers that really like to have, they have a lot of smaller locations and it's not, it doesn't make sense to have a server in each location. Mm -hmm. Most of ours are still premise based. Um, I see a transition over time and we're certainly planning for that. But in the short term, that's mostly what we're doing. Now we do, we serve a lot of, we still look at the small business space, we serve a lot of rural markets. So the big issue there is really the connectivity mm -hmm. to really okay. make hosted go. But I see more of that happening in the future. For Windstream, their data center uh, business has grown very quickly last year. I think they were up about 35%. So on the data center side with the standard data set of products like uh, uh, storage and um, security, that's been growing very quickly. Why? Why do you think some of those uh, smaller businesses, uh, connectivity was one, um, but certainly connectivity is, is improving and, and yeah. unless you're really in the rural outlying areas, uh, it's not going to be a problem. Why are so many people still, I mean, we, we keep hearing about and talking about the growth of cloud and cloud adoption yeah. rates increasing and everybody should be looking at cloud and so on and so forth. Um, you know, that's part of our discussion yesterday on, on the uh, right. panel. Um, why are so many of your customers still, uh, uh, sticking with their, their on-premises stuff. The, I think it's the reseller space is part of it. I think the trusted advisor is still a, an important role and it's particularly true in, in smaller communities. And I think we haven't done a good job as an industry finding a place for that reseller in the products we're coming out with in the future. And I, I see that sometimes when you sit in sessions, there's almost a frustration with the reseller community. But we have to look at it as a marketplace of products. and and resellers are our customers in that marketplace. And if they're not buying what we're selling, we've got to figure out how to get them a business model that works for them. And I don't know if we've spent enough time on that. We're pretty agnostic about it. We try to go in to solve the problems that their customers have and assume that will drive sales, and it has. And whether they want to do it in the cloud or on-premise, we're, we're happy to do it. I mean, we're not trying to drive a specific outcome. Well, and I think you're right in terms of uh, it, it is a very different model for the reseller community. Um, you know, if for no other reason, it's a different revenue model. Right. But there's a, such an opportunity there too because everything we want to do from a cloud perspective requires so much better connectivity all the way to the desktop than we did before. Connectivity with people wandering the world and wandering the office, that requires a lot of new equipment. A whole new build out needs to take place. So if you're an equipment vendor, the cloud is your friend, because it's going to really drive a whole lot of new network sales, and uh, you could get you into whole new lines of business. So don't fight it. Well, it, we're all consumers at the end of the day as yeah. well, so we should all know how, how much cloud is our friend with all, all the uh, mobile apps that we're using. Yeah. Good. more cloud I do at home, the more stuff I'm buying, it seems like, so. Exactly. Hey, Chris, uh, good to chat with you again. Thanks for being on the program Thanks, today. Thanks, Eric. Good to see you. Video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today.